So there are many reasons why one indulges in sex. For some, it is just pleasure. For some, it is a way of building this bond and companionship. Otherwise, people feel they are going away from each other. They may be just fine, but a lot of people, it is psyched in their mind that if they are not sexually involved, they are actually moving away. Not true. You can be very close to somebody and need not be involved in any physical manner, isn't it? But societies are psyching, especially in this part of the world, people are hugely psyched. If there is no sexuality, you don't really have a relationship. In fact, the word relationship, it's only… it took me some time to understand that here, if you say a relationship, you are supposed to understand it's sex-based relationship. Nothing else is a relationship. If… if I… I can have a very strong relationship with you and not be concerned about your body, isn't it? I may not be drawn to your body in any way, but I can have a very powerful relationship with you. But all those possibilities are completely discounted. A relationship means you must be in some way physically involved, man, woman or man, man, woman, woman, whatever you like. Essentially, it's body-based what kind of body is individual choices, but essentially it is body-based. This has happened because somewhere our identification in the body has gone beyond normal levels of identity. It is excessive identification with the body. That is why body-based relationships have become the crux of the society. One who is too identified with your physical body naturally is sex-driven because that is the highest thing that he knows. There are ways we can make you find something which is far bigger than this. Once you taste something better, I don't have to tell you give this up or give that up, it'll anyway fall off, isn't it? There are ways to do certain sadhana which is more intense than sexuality, which is more ecstatic than sexuality. On one level, if you look at it, in all dimensions of yoga, one way or the other are ultimately trying to activate the pineal. Because once it begins its secretion, everything about you becomes sweet and beautiful. It creates a whole inner pleasure, which makes all the outer pleasures look like kindergarten stuff. That's the reason yogis are just sitting with eyes closed, not because they're against pleasure, they're against small pleasures, that's all.